I'm in Clovis, New Mexico, and this is the grave of Dustin T. Farnham, son of J.M. and Stella Farnham. Died in 1925, January the 12th, is four years old. Age, I'm sorry, age four months and 17 days. Cemetery is a good size cemetery. I'm glad I stopped by Uncle Notes. He told me about where it was at. If I were to walk the cemetery and try to find dust in a year or a month. I'm in Bethel, New Mexico. This is the Bethel Cemetery, which has been abandoned many years ago. Let's see the area. I'm about in the middle of the cemetery. One house over there. I believe my great-great-grandmother, Mary Elizabeth Foster Bowen, is buried here somewhere. I walked around, looked at all the tombstones that I could find, and I could not find her name. They do date in the right time frame, the turn of the century. Okay, I'm in the Floyd, and this is a uh, store. It used to be a store where Newt used to eat hamburgers. The Floyd Elementary School. Here's Robert Greider, truck. There's the post office, Citizen Center, That's cool. I'm in Portales, New Mexico, and this is the grave of Oakley. in the center. Just came from the county courthouse. This is Horace James Farnham's property, his homestead. I'm about uh, in the middle of the front. It's a half section. I'm looking towards Floyd to the end of the street there, which is a quarter of a mile. That's his property. And as, you, as I pan around, it's a half section. Here's the gate that goes to the property. I, there's some old stuff there. That's all that's here where H.J. and Mary and Eugene are going to live. And if you go towards the sun, you don't want to do that. If you go that way, again, for a quarter of a mile, it's a half mile uh, of frontage on this road, the Bethel Road. So that's H.J.'s. And also, if you go across the street, this field, another half section, was Lou Anderson's ranch. Lou Anderson had a place right there. That's where my father was born. Somewhere over there. But the records show 110 
mother and that is from Anderson's. And this is Horace James. So Grandpa walked that direction, and it's more than a mile to Floyd when he went to school. Oh, I forgot to mention, H.J. Farnham's property is for sale. Wouldn't that be funny if um, a Farnham bought it? I don't even know what it's, how much it's going for. Maybe I should call it. Hampton Courthouse, John Drennan uh, owned two lots. They lived in either one of three houses, either that house or that house. Or that house there. He had bought this property. John Drennan bought this property in the 1800s before Granny Ken Cannon was born. So she could have been born in one of these three houses or came to it and lived there when uh, she was really young. It's right downtown San Angelo, 2nd Street. It's on 2nd Street.